Hello, I'm Ed Trillisim, and welcome to Mountain Blade Bannerlord. Well, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, I guess. Uh, so, those of you who watched the first video, the first video, episode 0, was basically a character creation video. This is us playing the game fully. Those of you who don't know what Mountain Blade is, Mountain Blade is a series of games, I guess now three of them, um, which are basically you run around in a possible real-time world map trying to build up uh, an army, uh, recruit people, get your status up, and then you go and fight people and it switches to this real-time combat where you've got a whole load of people going around doing stuff. It's kind of half RPG, half strategy tactics, which is a really good mashup and I love. Uh, we are playing as Alexander Armstrong with a dashing moustache. Uh, for note, we've always been bald. We never had hair, apparently. Um, that's how the character creation process works. So, we've started here at this training field. Our quest is to travel to the village of Teve, where we can ride for the visions and get some help so that we can go rescue uh, the other siblings. Now, our party does consist of us and our brother, Nogand. And unfortunately, oh, we've got a civilian outfit as well. Neat. Uh, Nogand has better armor than us. I wonder if your shield's better. 520 hit points. Yes. I'm going to steal your kit. Yoink. Thank you. And then you can have shield and gear. No gun is so helpful like that. I really appreciate it. I don't know why, but we do have a one-handed weapon and a, and a bow, both of which we aren't trained in. We're trained with crossbows and two-handed weapons, but whatever. Uh, right, let's move on. Let's go to Tavea. Well, apparently a whole lot of refugees are running. A lot of refugees. A lot of refugees. Hi. We need to take a walk around. We're here, I guess. So, we need food and after that maybe some men to come with us. The headman here can probably help us. Let's try and find him. Uh... Where is this headsman? A man who collects heads. Ah, he's over there. Charge! Excuse me, coming through. I mean, excuse me, coming through. All right, which one are you, Headman Mostrius? I'm Mostrius, Headman of the village. What brings you here? We need help. Some raiders have taken our younger brother and sister captive. We think they may have passed this way. They got your people too. Sorry to hear that. Those bastards have done a bit of killing and looting in these parts as well. I think they've gone north. I reckon there are a few folk around here who will join you if you're going after them, if you'll pay them for their gear. Once you've made your preparations, come and talk to me again. I may have a task for you if you're going after the raiders. Um. Okay. Just could give me the task now, but sure. Right. Recruit troops. Yes, please. Headsman troop. They look terrible. Done. Buy some grain. I don't need wool. Shoot. And then let's talk to the headsman. Glad to see you found what you needed. Now about that matter I mentioned earlier. There's this wandering doctor who comes through from time to time, name of Tactius. I'm going to call him Tacos from now on. Treats people for three. We're fond of him. Well, last we saw him a few days ago, he was carrying some sort of chest which he was very mysterious about. He was on some sort of quest, he said. They wouldn't tell us more. He set off on a road just a few hours before the raiders come through here. Well, he's not really a worldly type, just the kind of fellow who'd stumble into a trap and let himself be captured. We're worried about him. If you keep an eye out for him, this tech to us, we'd be grateful. People just walking into my horse. Thanks. Thanks, sir. Maybe if he's alive and well, he'll tell you a little bit more about his quest. The most weirdly segued conversation. 
We're worried about this guy. He might have been captured. If if you can get him, maybe he'll tell you about this quest. It's like, is that a, is that a, like an incentive? He'll tell me about his quest. Great. Also, look at that little chicken. Run. There we go. Anyway, let's leave. So, we've got a lot of angry raiders here who apparently appeared, which would explain the refugees. Uh, we're going to go kill some angry raiders. Hello! Uh, I did do some more streaming, and I streamed uh, I'm making a female character. Her picture every time in these sort of places was terrible. Alexander, much better. The creepiest smiles. Right. Ooh. Do we all have horses? Neat. Hello. Where are the enemy at? Oh, they're there. Troops! Ooh. Footman! I wonder if I can fire reliably. Ah, one. Yes. You know what? Just everyone charge. The system for telling your troops to do stuff is still pretty terrible. It's based on using the F1, F3 buttons and all that. Ow! That really hurt. Please stop hurting me. Have you killed them all yet? You also be standing around not doing very much. Can you kill people, please? I'm not good with archery. Why do I have a bow? Oi, oi, come here. There we go. I think I killed him. Oh, nice shot. I also do wish there was a way to put my arrow down rather than just having to change weapons. These are things that have been in Mountain Blade Warband that I was kind of hoping would be changed. Um, Alright, done. We did lose someone. But we got four prisoners. Yoink. I don't think I can get them to, like, join me. That button's grayed out. So I can't recruit them. Any of my troops? No, can't level them up. We've got four and one wounded. And we have some pretty terrible body armor. Yeah, these are all really, really bad. We'll grab it anyway so we can nick it and sell it. Do you have any more troops? Oh. Sweet. You do. Yoink. Come here. There we go. Now at number you two to one. You know what? Let's not beat around the bush. Charge. Wait, you're fast. Aww. My basic infantry are faster than me. Yeah, I got one. Did he just chuck the rock at the ground? He was just like giving up. He's like, oh, they chuck the rock at the ground. No, please don't kill me. No. Nope. Swinging with a little one handed sword from horseback is always difficult in this game. Come here. That went over his head. That guy is very dead. Enemies are fleeing. No, no, the enemies are very dead. Really? Follow me. All right, everyone, follow me. Really? No, I'm not letting him get away. Come here. There we go! Hit him in the neck. Oh, 
Oh, we've got some renowned morale. Nice. Done. Uh, boots, they're not good. Yeah, everything's pretty terrible there. We'll take it all there to sell. I wonder if you've got more troops now. No. It was worth trying. They had so many troops last time. Hello. I would like to murder you. They're very, very obliging charging straight at you. I have to admit, that's very helpful. Charge! Charge! Right, hit one. Nice. Ah, too high. Oh, get out of my way! I mean, get out of my way! Alex Louise Armstrong is coming through! Hi, hi there. Ah, damn. I've got to look down. The problem is I'm looking up to try and find him. Okay, my horse is really badly injured, so I'm not going to get any closer. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Nice. My poor horse. Yeah, you don't look in the best of shape there. We lost no one again. Gaining a bit more renown and morale. We'll grab all the prisoners. We'll grab all of that. Done. You rescue several prisoners that the raiders have been dragging along. They look parched and exhausted. You give them water and bread, and after a short while, one staggers to his feet and comes over to you. Hey, mate. You look like you've seen some things. That's a very, very creepy smile with those, uh... What, what's inside your ears? Is that just dried blood or something in there? Anyway. Don't know who you are, but I'm in your debt. These brigands would have marched us to our deaths. My name's Tackles. I'm a doctor by treat. I, I was on, well, a bit of a quest, but now I'm thinking I'm not really made for this kind of thing. If I was with a caravan and they just came out of the bush, we were surrounded and outnumbered, so we gave up. I figured they'd keep us alive if, uh, you know, just for the ransom. But then they started flogging us along at top speed without any water and I was ready to drop. I could feel the signs of heat stroke creeping up and I told them that they'd just flog me more. If the group hadn't come along, maybe I would have way thank you properly. We're looking for two children captured by the raiders. Can you tell us anything? I'm afraid I haven't seen any children, but after our caravan was attacked, the chief of the raiders, the one they called Radagos, took and rode off with our valuable belongings, including a chest I had. He seems to be controlling more than one raiding band around the area. I mean, we've defeated three. If this lot has your kin, then I think he'd be the one to know. And since I have nothing left to repay you if you help, I'll tell you this, if you do catch up with them and defeat the ruffian, you might be able to recover my chest. It contains a valuable ornament, which I was told could be of great value. If you know where to sell it. I was trying to find out more about it, but as I say, I've had all my urge for travelling flogged out of me. Right now, I don't think I'd venture more than 20 paces from a well as long as I live. We'll keep that in mind. Doesn't look like much, and I suspect this lot would give away for a few gold coins, but I got it from a mercenary who once treated, I once treated once. I got it from a mercenary who treated once. I don't know why I'm... It's this voice. And so it was related to Neritzi's folly. I don't know what that means, except that Neritzi was of of course, some kind of emperor who died in a battle some years back. Maybe we can find out its true value. Thanks for saving me again. I hope our paths will cross. That's, uh, great. I really don't hope our paths will cross. We save him. The dude's like, I know how I'll repay you. I'll tell you about the chest I lost. Um, let's go see if we can get any more. Nope. Worth a try. Radagos's hideout.
Right. Um, so this is a bug. You can see the inside of your own head. There's a way to fix it. You just have to refresh your first person view. Although we can probably fight like this. Although uh, we're no good at one handed. We really are two handed fighters. So this is going to be a mess. You know what? It was a night attack. We went to take out the enemy one by one. Just charge. Take out the enemy one by one. Also, wow, I am so slow compared to them. Yeah, God, I am slow. It's, I'm guessing, the mail? Because it's encumbrance and that slows you down? But damn. Also, we've got one man who has fallen already. Unable to advance. Oh, hello. No. Oh. I'm impressed. You know, while you do the stuff, I'm just going to... Just going to sit here. Wait, that's my sitting? That's not sitting. Hmm. Okay, that's just standing next to a log. Good, good job, man. Keep running on ahead. Honestly, it's a kind of scripted tutorial mission. I'm glad they're doing it for me. Hey, you look like you died. You're just having a nap. Just having a nap. All right, good job, people. Keep doing the thing. I'm so slow. I'm trying to keep up. Look, Alexander hasn't done cardio in a while. It's been difficult. He had to escape from the bandits and... They took all his protein powder. Uh, okay, and then my people teleport next to me. So, who's this that comes from our place of business killing my employees? We heard you took our little brother and sister. Where are they? Good heaven. I'll need a better description than that. My men have harvested dozens of little brats in this region. Quite good hunting grounds. Already sent most of them south to a slave market, I know, though. Wow, that's quite the stare. You just staring at our bald head. Since you aren't for your kin's fruitless, how about you clear off and save your own lives? Tempting. Either that or I force you to lick all the blood you spilled here with your tongues. Or you and I can sell this one on one. Okay. It would be very, very Alexander Armstrong to duel you one-on-one. -on -one. But also, I have a weapon I am no good with. Traditionally, Warband used to spawn you with the kit you were good at. Like, if you were like, hey, I'm good with, you know, a two-handed weapon, it would be like, you have a two-handed weapon. Um, if you're good with a crossbow, like, here's a crossbow. I don't know why I'm stuck with a non-two-handed weapon. But I'm not going to duel you, because we will lose... And then we'll have to do the tutorial again, and I'm not interested in doing the tutorial again. Personally, for me, like, the main questline thing in the Mountain Blade games is just really... It's not good. It's, as you've seen already, the writing is kind of... Eh, the motivation is... Eh, but the rest of the sandbox is great. I love the sandbox. I don't care for the scripted stuff. Um, I don't duel... I don't duel, slavers. Men, attack. And then we're going to... Why do we not have our shield... Yeah, that's a problem. We didn't have our shield up, and he was attacking with his sword. I was wanting to get involved there, but I was probably going to stab my friends. Huzzah! We've won the battle! I can't celebrate that, so I'm just going to celebrate by jumping. Uh, right. We had two wounded, and we murdered all of them. Seems good to me. Well, I reckon us to feel want to see it. If I'm gonna be your captive, let me choose myself. I'm Radagos. 
You haven't cut my throat yet, which was a wise move. I'm sure I can find a way to be worth more to you alive than dead. You'd better help us get our brother and sister back, or you'll swing from a tree. The way we keep saying this, despite the fact that our brother is never, like, next to us, he's always back with the rest of the group, we must sound a little bit like, yeah, all of us, our brother, we're all a very extended family. Oh, you need my help, all right, if you want to see them alive, back alive, that is. See, my boy has some pretty specific instructions about what to do if there's a rescue attempt. Shall we get on the road? Remember, if I drop dead of exhaustion or drown in some river, that's it for your little dears. I don't expect a cosy palanquin now, but you better not make it too hard a trip for me. And we will take all of them as prisoners. Ah, oh, my brother's down to 30% health. That's a real crying shame. Done. You come across a chest with an old piece of bronze in it. It's so bad and corroded that it could have been anything from a cup to a crown. This must have been the chest Taco's mentioned. That had something to do with Noretz's folly. Uh, oh, right. This is the wounded animation. I was like, why are you doing the same thing he was doing? It's the standard wounded animation. Clutch side. I was hoping to find more treasure here, but I think business wasn't going as well for Radagos and his gang. I found this strange-looking metal piece, though. It doesn't look too valuable, but we can sell it. Yeah, but it could be the artifact. Tatios was talking about. Maybe we can sell it to one of the noble clans for a hefty price. Let's get on the road. I have a better idea. Now be a better chance if we split up. I am all for that. Or sneezing. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I'll take Radagos and go find the slave market and look for a way to free the children. However, it must be careful not to endanger their lives, and it would be better just to buy them. We need to have our purses full for that, though. I'll need to take these men with us. Radagos is a slippery one. I don't want him getting away. So I want me to raise the money to ransom the little ones. Yeah, we're going to take all my men and all my stuff. I'm a prisoner. And you're going to leave me and be like, just earn money. Do a capitalism. Indeed. Let's find a way to do that. Maybe this bronze thing can help. Here, follow the quest line. Taco said it could be worth a fortune to the right person. If you manage not to get killed. If he's... T if you manage not to get killed. Yeah, thanks, bro, for really... Really caring about me when our other siblings are missing. Also, you look like you're 45 to 55. And apparently our brother and sister are basically children. How old is our dad? If he's telling the truth, you must be careful. Never reveal you'd have it, but try to understand its value and how it can be sold. One more thing. When you're talking to nobles and other people of importance, make sure to present yourself as someone from a distant but distinguished family. You can use your family name if you like, or make up a new one. You have a better chance of obtaining audience of nobles, and it'll be easier for me to find you by asking around. Armstrong. There we go. Wow. Those eyebrows really glisten. Uh, right, what is a... There's a lot more banner options in this game, which is nice. Because, you know, banner lord. What do we want to go with? That's a way too detailed a castle for a banner. Um, arm strong. So it'll have to be something about like having a strong arm. As you can probably guess. That's a hand. That's like a reverse Vulcan salute. What else do you got? Like, sword, but it's kind of a small thing on the banner. It needs to be bigger. Oh, Armstrong. It would be very like Alexander Louis Armstrong to be like, I am the dainty flower. What else? What else you got? Dragony type stuff. A lot of Imperial Eagles. I don't want to go quite the full on like Imperial Eagle. What the hell? It's like child sitting on a horse with maracas and a horse. The horse's legs are like a DIY bench. 
Something weird like that. Ooh, I kind of like the bear. Is that a hammer or an anvil? I'm not sure. It would also be very much us. Right, what colors would you go for? Also, they need to have better, like, options here. These colors are very limiting. Uh, red and white. Maybe red and white. Uh, that is allowed by heraldry, by the way, because you meant to have a metal on a color or a color on a metal. And white and yellow are metals, so they're silver and gold. So that's technically allowed. Um, this wouldn't be allowed. Like, this is blue on red. That's a color on a color, not allowed. We could go with the channel colors. Yeah. Uh, and if we make the symbol smaller, it'll fit on our shield. There we go. Just about fits. Uh, wait, what? That's very different from the image here. It's a lion and it's a horse. And the rest? No, the rest are normal. Okay. Weird. Very weird. Right. Where were we? Done. Wait, our brother's opinion meter is zero. Our brother is of zero opinion about us. Great. Go on the road now. Once I look at the little ones, I'll come find you. Yeah, you know, just, you know, the whole thing we've been doing. Don't worry about this. Pfft. This isn't for you to worry about. Tutorial is over. Excellent. And we have nothing. He got rid of everything that we had. Right, let's go recruit some people. At some point, we'll also need to buy better gear, because all of our gear is... Wait... He also took his clothes back. Aww. I mean, I was being a bit cheeky by nicking them, so whatever, but still. Right, I would like to recruit troops. Ah, right, so if I have Relations 5, I can recruit from here. 10 here, 15, 20, 25. Okay, and I can only recruit from the first one. We have got it on, like, full realism difficulty, so... Mm. It's one of the reasons I was like, I'm not dueling him. Oh, the Militia of Tevea, actually. Pretty strong. Almost 50 of them. Uh, I assume I need to buy food because my brother took all the food. Yep. Ah, if you have a point in trade, you can see the value of things at nearby towns and stuff. So you can actually, like, do trading relatively easily. Uh, we do not have a point in trade. So, no doing that for us. But we'll also grab a bit of butter because it's relatively cheap. We're going to need to do some more recruiting. And then... So this is like the Empire, apparently in three different blocks. That will be the Steppe Tribe, that will be the uh, Arabic Tribe, and this will be like the Viking Clans. And people keep saying, oh, they're more like Germanic! Um, right. I did mention that in the first video. I did say they had Germanic vibes, but also... That helmet... That boat, the whole, like, surrounding the world, like, almost serpent-esque wolf head thing, that's all Viking. Balgard, that's Viking. So, we could go see the Vikings, we could go see, who are you? Oh, you're the Celts, right. And I think these are... 
Norman-esque. Those are our people. Yeah, they're weirdly Norman-esque because, like, that British Norman, that um, Western, like, Templarish vibes, British, French, British, French. Um, no idea what this one is, just... Anyway, so yeah, these are basically England and France mashed together. So that's our people. We need to kind of travel over there. So I guess we could travel along the south coast for a bit. So if we go to Porus and then travel along here. Got to watch out for enemies attacking us. I'll recruit some troops. These. Oh, damn. Okay, you've got probably got a job. Deliver the herd to Argoron. Where is Argoron? Oh, it's north. Oh, um, I don't think you actually tell me how much you're going to pay me for a job at the moment. That's one of the massive downsides I think needs to be rectified in the beta. I don't think people often tell you like, "Hey, I'll pay you this much." I'm like. Hey, if I'm going to Argoron, I want to know. But we can at least talk to him. It's north, but I'm not opposed if you're going to give me money. Like, I do need the money. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I don't think I know you yet. They know me as Alexander. Mark it down. You should be hearing a lot of me. I'm Lossis. I've lived all my life here. Working the land, as do my kin. A lot of the people here in Canaros, the common farms, the craftsmen like me, they like me to speak for them. I'll mark your name. You got a problem? Uh, we've got ten Midlands Palfrey in Ugaron. But all the banditry on the road is they can't drive it on their own. They're not merchants, landowners, we can't afford any losses. Tell me how I can help. If you're in the direction of Ugaron, you can perhaps take a herd there. To Menacles the Tanner. Some villagers will help you as well. Um, will come along to help you drive the animals. Any other way? I'll pay you 400. Okay, so he is telling us how much he's paying us. Great. Um, no, not for 400. That's going out of my way. It's also a quite a long journey. So, no. Sorry, mate. Uh, let's go to Poros. Do, 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 do. Recruit troops. One. Great. <gasps> Enter the smithy. So there is a smithing system. Okay, and my smithing is 35. And this sword is apparently difficulty 40. Although... My smithing of 35 appears to be a ring, which is above the bar? And then there's a load of, like, blades and heads and stuff, which are all locked. Hmm, okay. Either way, we'll need resources for that, which means we'll need money. Um... Could go to the tavern district. You can often recruit companions there, but to do that, we'll need more money. Which. Arid. What is it? Ariada. The Needle. Gang leader. Crushfinger Ira. Gang leader. Wow, they've got a lot of gang leaders going on. And if you go to the tavern district, we've got. Zoanna the Wronged. A wanderer. And we could totally recruit you if we had money, but I, I don't have money, so I'm going to have to just not for the moment. I'm sorry. And how much is, like, a big weapon that we could use? A lot of money, probably. These were one-handed. Why, why are they all one-handed? There's a pole arms. Not a single two-handed sword. Damn it. Okay. Do you have a crossbow? Cro oh, yes. 22,000. We have less than 800. 
No. I think we just leave. More troops. Extortion by deserters. Uh, I'm not getting involved with deserters. Deserters can be pretty tough because they are troops who have left the service of, like, their actual troops. So, yeah, I don't want to get involved in deserters just yet. We're playing super realistic. None of you got a job, but you do have more people for me. All right, up to 12 now. I will go to Zionica. The brewer has a job. Okay, let's quickly do a recruit. Overpriced raw materials at Zionica. We could do that. Get you some resources from somewhere or something. I don't know you. They call me Alexander Market Down. Okay. I'm a craftsman. You can help with problem. We're required to buy our raw materials from local merchants. The other side of the bargain is that they come to us with reasonable prices. They're not doing that. They've just come together and agreed on a price that's always too high. They don't care if they ruin us. They can always sell the goods elsewhere. I don't understand that, right? If the price is too high and they don't care if they ruin you, who are they going to sell it to if no one else can buy it? Okay, but how can I help? If you could bring, say, six units of wool directly to me instead of selling to the merchants, I will gladly pay 600 ducats almost, or whatever they call it, denarii or gold. Yes. I will bring six units of wool to you. Like, that's a really good profit. And I think the villages nearby do well. Right, leave. Oh, hello, looters. Come here. You're not getting away from me. I need to fight you. Aha! We need to travel faster. Yeah. What do you want with us? Sir, no die, brigand. No, no, take us alive. I don't want to take you alive, but sure. Okay, men. Get ready. The foe is almost upon us. They're 120 meters away. Attack! Just charge. Right. Ah, there they are. Oh, the swing didn't go through. Come here. And I missed. I need a longer weapon! I am doing very well at this. I need a longer weapon. Still. Good win. Very happy. We lost no one. Good job. And we've got two improvements uh, with people going up levels. Neat. Okay, we do need some head armor. Does look although like that's a uh, kind of a, just a cloth we just randomly put on our head. It is just a wrapped head cloth. That is pretty much what it is. That's a pole arm. Arm wraps. Ooh, we need arm wraps. Yoink. Leather shoes. Better than ours. Would that look better? No. No, that would not look better. Right, grab the rest. Now, I think... Yeah, we've got people who can get improved. So, we can put them as Imperial Infantrymen or Archers. I'm just going to make them Infantrymen for now. And they're now Tier 2. 
So they actually have a shield. Admittedly a pretty janky shield, but whatever. Right, let's go get that wool we were talking about. There is no wool here. Hmm. Okay. You've got missions. I'll bear that in mind. Okay, no wool here. I guess maybe it's where we came from, there's wool. Yeah, apparently there's sheep over here. Uh, hi, looters. Can I get to you? Oh, they're going to keep running. Um, do we know their speed? We're 0.1 faster. I can't wait to make that. We've got a mission to do. We do need a bit of extra speed. Oh, hello. A lot of people getting taken prisoner. Wool. One, two, three, four, five, six. It actually seems quite expensive for wool. We'd have a choice, so sure. Also buy a butter while we're at it. Our troops like to eat butter. We are the butter lord! So as you don't know, by the way, um, Mountain Blade Warband had this mod, a uh, big mod pack called the Florist Mod Pack. And one of the bugs with the Florist Mod Pack at one stage, there was a patch for it, was that occasionally when you'd go and loot a village, all they would have to loot is butter. And you'd be like, why do I have like 120 packs of exquisite butter? And you would become the butter lord. And that was the joke. Um, so every time I see butter in this game, I'm like, I will be the butter lord. Butter lord. Dun, dun, dun. Right. Hello. Uh, we need to talk to the brewer. Wait, is it the brewer? Yes, yeah, the brewer. And it's been a while, mate. It's been less than 24 hours. Here is the wool. Oh, but our relations went down with the Vinter. Okay. What about you? Iron Skull Joculus, gang leader. Fence stolen goods. Uh, no. I don't... I don't want to fence your stolen goods and get on the wrong side of people this early on. This seems like a terrible idea. Also, we're happy. Look at that smile. Where do I find our renown? Probably in clan, right? Hmm. No. Quests. Reach clan tier one. Current party size, 20 out of 20. Okay. Increase your dinars by 1,000. Okay, we need to get 2,000. We're actually down. And hire a companion. Those are our missions. Great. Thank you, Nogand. And investigate the folly thing. Talk to 10 nobles. We could do that. And also, oh, our two-handed actually isn't as good as I expected. It's only 15. Right, so we have three focus points we can put in. Focus points basically include, like, increase the rate at which you learn stuff. I do need to learn two-handed faster, but that means, we're, you know, we need a two-handed weapon. Um, smithing is already pretty good. We've got three points in that. Scouting, I believe, is how fast we move. Um, I'm going to say maybe a point into scouting. How to learn. Spot tracks and hideouts travel through difficult terrain. So yeah, we can learn that just by walking around. The same is true for riding. Ride on the map with much speed as possible. Fight on horseback gaining speed bonus. Yeah, and that's the learn rate is massively up. 
And that leaves one last point. I think it has to go in there. Done. Actually, charm. Yeah, right, so we've got two options here. When you hit certain milestones, you can pick, like, perks, and you get to pick one of these two. Uh, diplomacy. 50% reduce a barter penalty. Or, when you choose yourself to lose the first time, have 10% chance to gain plus two relation with them. That's very minor, but the lords are very hard to level up the relations. I think we'll go with diplomacy just because it kind of fits us from our background. Uh, you, by the way, not that you know this, you have to click on that. The UI is still not very good. It's beta though. Leadership. Small XP bonus per day to party. Or medium XP bonus per day to tiers 1, 2, and 3 troops. I think raise the meek is far better just because I would rather have my troops hit like level 4 and then slow down than have all my troops slightly higher but still have a lot of like really low tier troops. Um, so raise the meek is going to be better for us, I think. Smithying. We produce crude iron more efficiently by obtaining three units of crude iron from one unit of iron ore. Or they produce three units of charcoal from two units of hardwood. Uh, we'll go efficient iron maker. Not sure of the significance of that yet. We do learn that relatively quick. Smelt old weapons. Oh, we can break old weapons down. Neat. Need to do that. Right. Well, with that done, we've done some wool trading. We've killed a whole load of looters and bandits. Most of them were by our team and not by us because reasons. Anyway, that's where we're going to leave it for today. So I've been Andrew Lissi. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have, like, subscribe, comment down below. Again, this is the first episode, if you don't count character creation, uh, in a new series. So it's really good to get the feedback. So please do. Um, it would be really good to see you know, what you like. What do you want me to play more of? What do you want me to lean towards? Any ideas for it? I'm kind of going to treat this like a semi-role-playing thing in that I want to try and make certain decisions that are also good role-play decisions. And, you know, where do we go next? I think we go to our homeland first because that's our homeland. But... I'm down for some uh, shenanigans. I've been in Trillisium. Like, subscribe, and stay shiny.